Hello and welcome everyone, I'm John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today we have another coin that's been sent in by a silver trader, which of course is the Cameroon Mandrill Monkey. Yep, now it's something I'm actually really excited about, so please be sure to check out the links down below. Of course, you can find a link to Silver Trader's website, you'll also find a link to the Precious Metal Forum, and finally, as always, you're going to find a link to Ace Bullion, my own personal website there. So, let's get cracking. So what is a Cameroon mandrel or a monkey? Well, it's one of my favorite, actually. It's uh, <laughs> it's one of the most colorful monkeys out there. Um, I often call uh, a mandrel a baboon for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. Now, you're going to notice straight away, and you know there's no hiding it, this is a 2021 coin. Now, I'm not sure whether or not it was a case where it was slow, uh, to be released, or of course it was slow to be bought. I, uh, either which way, uh, the Silver Trader now has them, and they're there. It, they have a very limited mintage of 10,000, which is good for really a not so high premium coin. Now we can see here, uh, we have, uh, well, everything. It's 500 francs, um, and it's just amazing. We have, trying to zoom in a little bit here, we have the uh, inscription down below saying peace, work, and fatherhood. Uh, a lovely shield with two axes, um, the justice scale, a star, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and of course, you can see here, it's a Cameroon. Now, the mandrel, let's have a look on the other side. But before we do, it is a milled and reeded edge. But also, let's see what a mandrel really looks like. Here we go. So that's what a mandrel really looks like. And here is what the mandrel looks like on a coin. And it is stunning in my opinion. Um, it's actually done really, really nicely. Um, we have a really high reflective background. Then we have like this kind of ultra, almost a hammered effect. Uh, where, you know, the tree that he's, uh, he or she is, I think it's a he, is uh, resting upon. We have the word mandrel above, just in case you didn't know what it was. Like me, I'm not going to call it a baboon. We also have down below here, uh, or off to the side, shall I say, 999, one ounce fine silver. And, you know, the mandrel is rather special. As you can see here from uh, the image I had just shown, it is... Well, yeah, very colorful and very amazing. And, you know, these apparently are a rather friendly, you know, monkey. They have huge teeth. And, yeah, I still wouldn't recommend going up and, you know, uh, reaching out and touching one. Um, you know, at the end of the day, they're bigger and stronger than you. So, no. <laughs> but look at the realism here by the Scottsdale Mint. They've really encapsulated what a mandrel really is all about. They've added in the texture. They've added in the variations of uh, gloss and um, kind of a satin or almost a matted color. And it's really, really nice and refreshing, actually. I have to say that. Um, now, the coin itself, I mean, yeah, it is really just amazing. It's in a super thin capsule, which is rather surprising. Um, but the overall image is just cracking. It, it's spot on. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know what more to say on this basis. So this will be a really short video just to let you know that this is, well, a stunning coin. And I'd love to know if you're going to be purchasing one. So leave your comments down below and let me know, is this little guy here on your to buy list or not? And let me know the reasons why. I'm just curious at the end of the day. 
Um, but there you go. So as a cool collector's piece, we have the mandrel. Thank you for watching, everyone. I know it's a really short video, but have a great weekend wherever you may be. Bye for now.